I mean, we could, we could, we're passing by du uh, by uh, the ruins of Duskar. We could go up to Cougar Town if you want, but we could also bypass it and just go straight east. It's pretty much your call. Well, let's just go straight east for now because I'm on a mission to find some things. Due to certain activities, we were up late the following day, catching the last rays of sunlight. Me and Eve had decided to go on a small reconnaissance mission out east to check out the towns that had sprung up over there. I would have gone over to my brother's house to see if he wanted to come along, but earlier Rory had told me that he was going to go off and see if he could track down a bear that he had heard was skulking around our territory. So me and Eve were doing this trip on our own. Um, over by Eastbrook, I think. Uh, there's been some reports that the Arbiters might have a second base there or something. Just so you know. Be interesting because uh, at one point they wanted to capture me. Yeah, well, it was basically just Scythe Boy who wanted to capture you, so I don't even know what his deal was. <laughs> Maybe he liked me secretly. Most likely, yeah, you are a very likable person. I mean, I should know. <laughs> Damn it! Sun's going down, though. We should have, we should have gone, like when it was morning. Right, let's go here. That house is uh, an old ba an old base of an old acquaintance. I don't think he lives there anymore. I think it's abandoned. I'll tell you the truth. I haven't really been eastward on Duskar Island yet, so it's gonna be interesting. I actually like Duskar Island a lot. Mm -hmm. Except for I don't like the wolves. No, this is Wolf Central, that's true. Ah shit. <gasps> Fucking hell! Swim away like a fish. <laughs> like a cute fish. Yeah. I should like stop. <laughs> yeah, like a little guppy. <laughs> a little finding Nemo Nemo. Oh, that's a clownfish, sorry. <laughs> or a clownfish. Yeah. That would work too. Alright. Top of Eve. And then I'll find. Come here. Come here. Check the sunset. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. As we took in the moment, I realized that I was more at ease now than I'd been for a long time. Eve's presence filled me with a gentle warmth which I hadn't even thought could exist in these times. We'd all been so cold, shut off from the rest of humanity, focusing on family and survival. Eve had shown me that there was more than that, something else worth living for. As the sunset was accentuating the moment, it was as if I could feel my focus on pure survival starting to get muddled with something that distracted me. Damn you, Eve. You were making me feel all these strange emotions, something which I'd vowed never to do again after I'd lost Sonia. But I couldn't help it. This moment. I wanted to... I wanted to isolate it. Frame it. Protect it from any outside influence. Yeah, I'm really happy to be able to share this with you, Eve. This is, uh... This is gorgeous. I'm glad to have someone to share the sunsets and the sunrises with. Probably move on, I think. And just like that, the moment vanished just as quickly as it had appeared. 
and we continued on our way. Oh, there's a... There's a cabin over there. I was looking to see if there was a shed, storage shed or something. Yeah, there's also apparently a pub down there. Let's just check it out real quick. Chocolate! Oh, really? Yes. Hell yeah. Chocolate. Chocolatey goodness. <laughs> Hello, anybody home? <gasps> what? Eve. Look at this note. <gasps> I'm gonna mark Cam Cameron's house here. And it was a genuine relief to do so. For the longest time, I had wondered where Cameron lived, or if he even had a base of his own. Knowing that it was with Lamplight would put his home at their base. But... What should we call this, then? His summer residence, perhaps? In any case, just to find a sign of his whereabouts was nice, as it served to assert his status as being alive even more, something I welcomed after the troubles we'd shared together. Closed it for Cam. Oh, okay. Closed the door that we just opened for him. I got it. Let's follow the water line here. I can't hear anything over the sound of that freaking... What is it, like a cow or a deer or something? Uh, an, a male... A male deer? Yeah. What are, they called? What are male deer called? Uh... Is it one of those Robux? I'm just surprised nobody's capped the fucker yet. Use my language. Yeah, I keep forgetting your humble origins, you know. You have to understand too that I've also been spent time in the mainlands. Mm -hmm. I've seen things. Yeah, what did you see on the mainland? Like, I'm curious. Do you think the cannibalism here is bad? Oh, There's it's... more people. Oh... More bandits. More cannibalism. I got you. Um... I was... Mm, I'd rather not talk about that. Alright. Well, I'm here for you I'm if you ever want to. Want to. You'll need to know. I was used. Tossed around from man to man. Oh. Oh. Really? Um. I'm sorry. I, how, how did you end up in that predicament? I went to the mainland with James and we got separated. We can run while we... we can jog while we talk. I'm sorry, I'm just so shocked. Yeah, it's... not something that I like to talk about. No, I understand that, of course. After... after we got separated, I... I went looking for a place to stay. Yeah. And I thought I met these really nice people. Who are going to protect me and look out for me. I see. And instead they used me like their personal... ...companion. Eve? Hmm? I'm sorry that happened to you. I really am. Thank you. This actually explained a lot. I remember reading one of those psychiatric articles in the past about how many victims of sexual abuse developed a sexually aggressive streak themselves as a form of healing. 
usually putting themselves into similar situations where they themselves maintained control. The feeling that they could stop at any time if they wanted to mentally stabilized their relation with sex, enabling them to move on. But this also raised questions about me and Eve. As I was on the fast track of falling for her, now other considerations suddenly popped up, and I was afraid that insecurities would manifest. Uncertainties about whether feelings should be allowed to continue to develop, or if I should just stop it altogether and wait to see if Eve changed her mind about me. Like I had guessed when we hit it off the first time, it might just have been that she needed to reclaim her life and rid herself of feeling victimized. These were very fragile waters we were entering, and I decided to tone down all measures of dirty talk from now on. I felt like I had crashed into a glass house and regretted being so forward. Alright, you take the factory, I'll take these other buildings over here. So. Oh, hello. What's going on? Hey, Arbiter Bros. Everything's good. What How about you? Oh, was that Farley? Yeah. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Everything's Who? good. Who are these people? We're the Burley uh, family. Oh! Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Burley! Oh, hello, man. Your other friend got... <laughs> This is, uh, oh, sorry, that's not you. Uh, that is, uh, uh, her name's Eve. She's a new acquaintance of us. Hello, hello, hello. Uh. <laughs> so what's going on with you guys? What's happening with the Arbiters tonight? Just doing Arbiter stuff, you know? Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, that's what I found. So, do I know all of you? I mean, I know May, of course. You probably don't know me. My name's Cletus. Cletus. Well, nice to make your acquaintance. Yeah, I'm known as the best Arbiter. Yeah. Oh, the best? Okay. <laughs> this is the Antler Arbiter? Or, like... Sticks. <laughs> oh, sticks, okay. <laughs> so what have you been up to today? Like, have you been up to Cougar Town any? Oh, yes. Bringing up Cougar Town got Cletus chatty about how disorderly everything had gotten over there. I didn't know if I fully agreed with that. I felt Skylar had made a good start at cleaning up the place, putting people to work, and turning it into a social hub with a salty cougar at its center. Of course the situation might be somewhat confused for a time, as it would be during any transition of government. In any case, it was a good deal ironic to hear this statement coming out of the mouth of an arbiter. Everybody wants to fight for power, it seems. <laughs> Okay. Oh, bless you. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Where is he? Here, here. Oh, they see him? Did he get scared because he sneezed or what? <laughs> I don't know, but look, he's poking around the. He's, he's poking his head up. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Funny. All right. May I interest you in a vitamin? No. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> you guys heading somewhere? Uh, we're looking around mo mainly. We haven't really uh, explored the east part of Duskar Island, so we were doing that. We did have a little bad timing with the time, though. Like, we prefer to do it during the day. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, do you want this gas lamp? Yeah. It's really bright. Sure. You don't want it? I wouldn't mind it. Hey. Yeah, All yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. We have a bunch. Oh. Well, thank you very much for this lamp. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to run back somewhere. But it was nice meeting you guys. Oh, you too. Nice meeting you too. Take care, mate. <laughs> <It's beautiful. laughs> Bye. Alright. Bye. Are you going with them? <laughs> no? Why are you jumping out of the tree? Okay. You alright, buddy? He doesn't... I don't think he's feeling very well. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. We can go now. <laughs> okay, bye.
Bye. Take care, guys. Oh. Maybe we should find some place to lay down. What do you think? Maybe find a building or something? Are you going are we going to sleep for the night or Okay, maybe we shouldn't go that way though. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um but the noises uh, and all I don't that. Know where we are. Oh, we're not that far away from Fairfield. Oh, this is Fairfield. But there oh shit, there are maybe we should backtrack a little bit. Yeah. Now. We didn't know who were fighting. Perhaps it was the Arbiters who decided to rob someone they shouldn't have. Regardless, multiple gunshots in the darkest night, with bright lights acting like beacons for possible enemies in the distance, constituted a bad tactical situation for us. Ah. We decided to look for shelter and douse the lamps quickly. Did you, are you seeing this? There's a light over there to the left. Adrenaline spiking after having been shot at by at least one unknown hostile, we did everything to mask our trail. As silently as we could, we made our way into the woods and away from the road in an attempt to lose whoever was out there. You know what though? I think people might be so heavily geared that they actually have night vision goggles on. And this doesn't make a difference at all. Yeah, my version of a pep talk. In any case, we soon came across something that turned out to be a construction site. The gunshots had moved away, and I started experiencing something similar to a tentative feeling of safety again. But the darkness wasn't our friend out here, so I made a suggestion. Should we maybe call it a night and return? Fresh tomorrow during daytime. Yeah, I think this is a good spot to uh, to sleep and die out. Yeah. I think so. The next day, I took a little stroll around the area while E was still asleep. I wanted to get my bearings and see if I could find any traces of people in the vicinity. <coughs> I was also apparently coming down with a cold, which was understandable, considering we had been sleeping in a drafty construction site with no walls or doors to speak of. Alright, um... <coughs> while I'm coughing in-game, I also want to inform you guys that I might sound a little bit different uh, from now on, or actually from the last time um, I played. That's simply because I uh, just want to inform you guys that I have bought a new mic, so I'm not using a headset mic anymore. I'm using <coughs> I'm using a boom mic. I'm using a podcast mic right now. Um, trying to experiment a little bit with it and see which settings are like good and which are, you know, just so you know. I hope it's gonna like not cause too much of a change <laughs> I just collect sometimes hello what the fuck hello hey hey May how's it going it's going good it's me Robin oh my fucking god uh... again <laughs> what's up everything's good how the good. fuck do we always run into you I know well we we sort of took shelter like in this construction site and you know, uh, gotcha. you, I don't want to infect you. you I'm like sick up. right now, just so you know. Um, uh, what with? Do you need some medicine? I don't Wait, know. Actually, do you know what? Just take these. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks, Mike. Very much appreciated. So, you guys, like, you built in here? Is that what you think? 
No, this is just like a temporary stopover. You know, speaking of, we could probably stop here too and, you know, sleep. At least until the storm. It is a kind uh -huh. of good place to, you know, have... You'll be able to watch over the neighboring place. This day, the Arby's were accompanied by a man dressed in all white, whom I didn't recognize. But his demeanor was similar to that of the company he was keeping. I know you don't, I know I don't know you. Come on, let's cuddle. I'm not really into cuddling right now. Cuddle. <laughs> oh, I'm, come on. I'm still kind of sick. Like, you know. It's a cough into his mouth. Oh, <laughs> I never do that on the first date, you know. Hey, Michael, can I try out those gloves? They look really, really cool. <laughs> no. Damn. Where's Eve? Uh, she's Eve? asleep here somewhere in the construction site. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I'm one of the very few survivors that ever lived in Sanctuary. Is that true? Well, I mean, Eve I lived in Sanctuary, too. I think Cameron did too. Vincent did. Oh yeah, Vincent was part of that too. Uh, Michael, uh, I want to ask oh, you something. Um, I don't know if uh, you've talked to Dobby um, or if he mentioned anything of this, uh, but a while, a while back, I, me and my brother, we actually ran into him on Starter Island with uh, Oceanville, and. Uh, he told us that if we ever, like, you know, were having problems with, like, any low-life bandit group, we should, you know, mention it to you guys. Um, I don't know. Did he say anything about that? No, but who are they? Okay. No, I'm just... Uh, there's nothing confirmed yet. Uh, but I just wanted to give, perhaps, a little heads up that a couple of days ago, we were being most likely scoped out by someone known as Loki, I think. I said, hey, what's your name? Robin. What's your name? Oh, shit. Uh, Loki. Alright. You, you got a group? Yeah, kind of, sort of. Working a little bit on that. Is there a name of your group? Oh, yeah, yeah. The Burley family. The Burley family? You guys are all, like, uh, big family? As he heard the name, Michael nodded and revealed to me that Loki had in fact been part of the Disciples, the wannabe Pathfinder group which had been based in Sandy Bay, and which the Arbiters had clashed with until the former had decided to disband. Now, apparently, rumor had it that Loki was one of the only remnants of the group looking around for victims on his own, to which I could add that he had in fact had a buddy with him. Yeah, no, but uh, I think he's based out of Sandy Bay in the fire station. Oh, okay. But apparently, he also has multiple other bases, so I don't know. I guess so. Alright. Was he alone? Uh, no, I think there was like one more guy with him. Could have been Jet. Loki. That's why I was like, did he sound like a very high chance? Did he sound like he was 12 by any chance? Oh. I made sure to emphasize that I didn't want any trigger happy arbiters to go looking for problems if there weren't any. After all, Loki hadn't really acted hostile towards us, they just appeared a bit shady. But just the same, Michael told me that they would keep an eye out and an ear to the street, and if they heard anything, they would step in to deal with it. I felt relieved, reassured, and kept experiencing a feeling of amazement at just how close we had grown with the Arbiters, the one group I had initially been the most apprehensive about. Good Welcome morning. back. Oh shit, hold on. Thank you. Our friends gave us some some stuff. I can maybe cure you. Oh. Sweetums. Our friends? Where's our friends? You, you don't you don't mind me calling you Sweetums, do you? Right? Like, yeah. No, not at all. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's very endearing, I like it. Yeah, okay. Right outside we have our our old friends, the Arbiters. Oh yes. Hi. To be fair, I'm not an arbiter. Just saying, ah oh, shit, he's sick now. <laughs> oh god, he's sick as well. Oh shit! Someone put him out of his misery. Just joking. Just joking. <laughs> Here, I'll do a slow. <laughs> like glad that you said that. You know. Yeah, saying things like that in front of the arbiters was generally not a good idea. They might be encouraged by it. So they said you used to live in sanctuary. Oh yeah, uh, this is Eve. She lived in sanctuary. As 
I did for a Sound like a parrot. short period of time, I guess. Huh. I don't remember you. I'm be honest. What was your name, guy? Uh, some people used to call me McKnight. The what? McKnight. McKnight! Yes! You know him? I'm, yes, I've, I've heard the name and I think I've met him in passing. But it was just literally in passing. Okay. Are you leaving? Yeah, I gotta get back home. Alright. Alright. Yeah, sorry. The people were waiting for yeah. it taking fucking forever. Well, I mean, I'll see you guys there at some point. Nice to meet you. Yeah, if you ever need anything, just call over the radio. Sure thing. Will do. It's yeah. nice seeing you again. Oh, yeah, of course. Everyone knows me, so, I mean, like, you know, can find me somehow. <laughs> Have fun! <laughs> Take care. You too. After a little while, the people referred to actually showed up. Uh, oh, contact, by the way. What's up, Yoshi? What fucking took so long? Oh, Yoshi. <laughs> okay. I have severe diarrhea again. That's him. That's the one who said that he's the best arbiter, quote unquote. Correct. <laughs> right. uh, I agree. I agree. <laughs> he's up there. Hell he's yeah, the he is. <laughs> the fuck? He's up there. The fuck? <laughs> Good lord. I didn't think. I didn't think a kiwi was Where capable of sounding Jimmy? like fucking butt fucking cowboy. That <laughs> cowboy's butts trap me nuts. Do you all remember me or know me? I don't know. Can I? Can oh yeah, I ask aren't you that sister lady? Aren't you that woman that used to collect toenails? What? <laughs> yes, I remember you. You accused me. <laughs> Come here, you! You're accusing me of always getting toenails. <laughs> what, wait, what? Uh... <laughs> I don't wow, know. Wow, that's a thing the that fabled did. toenail collector sanctuary. No, it's not. Yeah, uh, for the rest of them show up. Do you have something I'm you want to tell me? Everybody. <laughs> uh, it was an ongoing joke, and it just stuck. Oh, so joke. Yes. Okay. Never trust those who wear all tan. Really. <laughs> Oh, that's May. That is the color of the like beast. A thing to do. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I don't have a beautiful dress like yours. I'm still looking, but I haven't found one yet. I'm actually really you impressed that actually, you're able to maneuver one. that one over like terrain and stuff. Do you ever truly want one? Uh, next time you see a one, I have a bunch of games. I, I, saw, I, saw them. I thought to myself. Okay, if they were in such a charitable mood, let's see if we can spice things up. You gotta need, like... We can, we're, we're on the way. You, you gotta need, like, lingerie for her, too. Alright, let's, let's fuck in. You know, let's go. Like, we're leaving. Good, good talk. Wow. <laughs> Bye, 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 you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, I will. Take care, guys. Sexy for the See you guys later. We'll later Be safe. <laughs> okay. Right, Take you care. Yeah, this, you too. Bye. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that's quite funny, actually. We always oh, end up running, running into them. <laughs> I know. That's like the second or third time, right? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> Honey, baby cakes. <sighs> <sighs> Hang on, I'm a bum fat. All right. <sighs> This is a shake, baby. It's a shake. It's a shake. Uh, 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 oh my god. Uh, 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 <laughs> good lord. Uh, oh, you can keep up. Uh, yes, yeah, say, says you. You know the slim line beauty of of the Church of Prophets. I'm also young. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that yeah, exactly. You got youth on your side. You have to remember, my bones are old. <laughs> we spent the better part of the day looking around Duskar Isle, scavenging for supplies in towns such as Fairfield and Montville, 
but overall the rest of the journey was more or less uneventful. Eventually we headed back, and the sun had set about an hour before we could see the familiar bridges of the Burleyville region once more. You with me? Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm still behind you. Nice. I'm gonna check if Rory's home. I'm gonna go with you if you don't mind. Yeah. No worries. Looks like he's asleep, though. Oh, freaking headaches. Yo, bro, you up? He was not. However, he had pulled his own weight during the day, it seemed, as we now had no less than two gazebos. Quite nice. Our compound started to look like a veritable leisure resort. While we made up a fire to relax in front of after the long journey, we talked about how McKnight had brought up Sanctuary, and this in part triggered us to reminisce about the good old days. In particular, the memories of one Mr. Eli Carter of New Haven. Mr. Carter. Still hear his voice in my head, you know. Oi, I'm Mr. Carter. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Tell you about the time that I had three women in one night. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss that old geezer. I actually miss Carter too. Yeah. He was quite funny. He was a fun one. He was. Let's see if we I can get. I just said that. I, I, I know. Like him at all? Mm, no, I'm sorry, but not exactly. <laughs> Okay, at least, you know, at least, at least I tried. Yeah. But there is a thing where you, if you know you're gonna suck at it, maybe you should try. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ow! I thought it was gonna, you were gonna kiss me. No, not for that! Oh. But it hurts now, I need a kiss. Right. Come here. While we were smooching it out in the firelight, we were suddenly interrupted by a strange sound. Oh shit. <gasps> oh shit. It's one of those things! Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Although that didn't really sound like one of those things. Towards the end. Who's out there? Who's... Who's out there? My adrenaline was rushing somewhat, and I merged gun in hand. We knew that if they wanted to, the mutants could easily jump the fence in a single bound. But there had been something fake about the sound we'd heard. While mutants were known to make strange noises, they sounded more like rapid clicking noise and this had, in all fairness, more resembled someone trying to do a bad impression of them. Yeah, I'm seeing light over by the bridge, though. Yeah. Huh. It was, uh, it was somebody with a flashlight. I think it was somebody joking around. So, yeah, just so you know, if we need to get in here, uh, the door opens out. You know, outwards. <laughs> You're, like, standing there, and I'm like, could you, could you move? <laughs> I got really I, just in. I, got I was gonna claw. I was gonna claw my way through that door. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, we should totally try to get like some outdoor lounge chairs and just put them in here. As a post-panic calm settled, we decided to park ourselves by the fire and just relax a bit and take in the night. Again, our discussion slid onto the subject of the past, and after some careful probing to see if she was comfortable with the subject. I asked Eve about her ex-boyfriend, Thomas. 
the one she was going to marry. Yeah, all I heard was that he moved away and changed his name. Mm-hmm. But I don't even remember what, his, what he changed his name to. And then I don't know if he died or what happened from there. I understand. Yeah, I, uh, I remember we talking about that. I don't know if it's right for, of me to say this, but I wasn't particularly sad when you told me that you had, you guys had broken up, you know. I was sad that you were sad, but not really, well, you know what I mean. Was not so much sad. I was angry. Yeah. Angry that he could say those mean, hurtful things, make accusations against me, with mm. no merit, mm. no nothing, no proof, and and yet, sanctuary. <coughs> yeah. I spit on their name. Yeah. Defended him. They weren't really uh, helpful either way, right? Like there was, there was uh, other things going on as well, and they just—I remember our friend Corey was. Uh, there was an incident with him, and Sanctuary didn't really back him up, as I understood it. What made you uh, switch from Sanctuary to Bastion? I—I I want to know that. If—if that's not—if that's okay, if you want to share that. Yeah, it's all good. One of the biggest reasons was I had an altercation with the Pathfinders in Sanctuary. Oh. Um, me and another guy, from what I was told, got injured. And Sanctuary didn't want to do anything about it. Yeah, they were always just so about uh, neutrality, right? Like, I yeah. Guess one of the leaders was in trouble. You're not part of their Sanctuary. In the leadership, yeah. Inner circle, then you are not part of sanctuary. You're a part of sanctuary, but you're not a part of mm. sanctuary. Yeah, I gotcha. Even among post-apocalyptic settlements, there seemed to still remain an element of the good old human need to segregate and implement a class system. Much of what E was telling me, I had more or less already heard from Corey, but more testimonies to the effect pretty much confirmed it. Apparently, there had been something off with Sanctuary. As a casual layover, I hadn't noticed it when I'd visited, but the skeletons of the past tended to be revealed if the rains of time were allowed to saturate the ground long enough. And I couldn't help but wonder if the leftovers of Sanctuary, what was now rebranded as Salvation, had kept their habits of a secretly class-segregated society intact. A model of the old world of how class society used to work. I suppose. They got completely wiped out by, I think, the Arbiters. Um, because the Arbiters took down, I think, the Mayor, Ron, and also Church. And after that, that whole place, Church. They, it just fell apart, as I understand it. Yeah, Ron and Church were executed. Church. Yeah, I, I met Church once. I don't even think I met Ron at one point, but I did meet Church. I'm Church. I'm uh, Sanctuary's medic. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Oh, field medic for the Rangers. Yeah, you guys uh -oh. have been around for a while, haven't you? Oh, yeah, we've been around for a good while. I've been on the, uh, been part of Sanctuary since my first day on the aisle, and that's been like six, six or so months. Oh, wow. he seemed like a nice guy, but... I, as I said, I only met him once, so I don't know. Uh, Ron, when Ron was doing all those things, letting letting um, Thomas lock me out of the house when he wasn't supposed to, uh, taking things that were bl that belonged to me, and um, taking code locks off of property that we shared. Yeah. Uh, I told Church this. And uh, Church was actually like, oh, no, that's not right. Mm -hmm. And he actually was told me that if I hear anybody talking bad about me, 
to let him know because he was going to set them straight. Oh. Because there was no room for that. Okay. So well, I'm I'm very sad that Church lost his life. Yeah. I considered him a friend. Yeah, a friend. Did he have much Ron, like clout? I mean, I don't clout. care if Ron died. To be honest. <laughs> I got gotcha. um, When Ron decided to oh. take off for a short period of time. Let's go to the other one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Keep going. Uh, when Ron was um, oh. gone for a short period of time. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, we had toyed with each other about maybe having Eve over at my house sometime in the future. Though she had been let in earlier to take quick refuge, I realized that this night we did find out just how much time would pass before I officially invited Eve into my house. Not that long, as it turned out. And it came as a surprise to a number of zero people. Madam, I invite you to my house. Oh, thank you. Let me just get the Robin light on. Robin <laughs> Burley. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So this is my house. Uh, feel free to uh, have a seat if you can. <laughs> I'll get you a. I'll get you a drink. So what fancies your taste buds tonight? I got soda. I've got vodka. I've got water. I got ketchup. Uh, soda sounds great. All right. Oh, thank you. I'll take this. I have no idea what this is. Saltica. Why is it so salty? Okay. Sure. All right. Skull. Okay. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Burleyville. I guess that's what you say, right? Yep. To Burleyville. Whew. That was salty. Oh, Lord. Ugh. I don't even know what it was. Why do you drink things that you don't know what it is? Uh, well, it came in a can. Stuff in a can can't be, like, you know, it's not poison, I think. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, here's my bedroom. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. Got That's some. Nice. Got some indoor shrubberies as well, you know, nothing but the best for this burly. <laughs> I I don't exactly I do know, like it but yeah. <laughs> and then over here, I have my little workshop. Oh, Light ladies first. Little bit. Clever. There we go. Yeah. Right. I mean, I have to be careful. It's this door, you know, faces the outside of the fence, so. And this is, this is, I suppose, where the magic happens. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yes, it, it will. <laughs> I mean, it, it beats the um, the garage. Place that I live right now. <laughs> I didn't want to say the garage, but yes, the garage. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. Having offered Eve a drink and shown her around, we got back to the subject of church. So, um, yes, he was acting as a sheriff, I mean, as mayor. You can sit here, yeah. While Ron was gone. And things, when he was, when Church was mayor, things actually were really good. Mm -hmm. Like, he did a really good job being mayor. Mayor. You got a, you got a favorite place where you've been on the Isle? If I tell you, you'll laugh. No. I won't. I liked Duskar. Duskar? I didn't know you were a part of Duskar. When was this? I wasn't. But I spent a lot of time up in Duskar. Ah, okay. What were you doing in Duskar? Um, I have a friend. Uh, he was Chloe's boyfriend. Oh, Matrix. Motormouth Matrix, I called him. Yeah. Jo yes, yes. Yeah, he... <laughs> I met him at Sanctuary uh, when he was by there meeting up with Chloe, and he talked so much that I gave him the nickname Motormouth Matrix. 
That guy would never want, shut up. But... <laughs> Yes, he wouldn't. <laughs> no, he was a good guy, that's true. I think he left for the mainland, unfortunately. Reminiscing like this with Eve, I realized that we'd lost so many people after the storm. First and foremost among them was Triple M. God bless him. Good old Motormouth Matrix had seemed like someone who would have become a good companion and a connected ally in these dark times. And the names just kept coming to me. Chloe. Lucas. Skip Tracer, Cronelli, Liam, Elusive, even Alex Woods. For whatever reasons, I never saw these people nowadays. Even whole groups of well-minded people like the outcasts had been wiped out. It was a time to remember and cherish the memories of those whose stories had ended, while we, who were fated to, kept going. Are you thinking about Lucas? I heard he had a brain injury, and that's why he... Yeah, that's not entirely true. I told Eve about what Harold had told us about Lucas. I'll say this. Lucas's blood was the foundation with which Warlock first made the serum. The same serum I was injected with. He's uh. also serving as the patient zero for the mutant virus. And what we've learned so far is that Warlock is this guy who kind of is very unscrupulous. He uh, experiments on human beings in order to perfect his serum, as he calls it. Um, and I believe that he is trying to perfect humanity with those things. And that is the main reason why there are mutants flying around right now, jumping people everywhere. I could tell that this was news to Eve. I got a vague impression that she had not really heard of Warlock before, or at the very least, she was in the dark about a lot of things going on concerning the guy. The connections of Warlock and the mutants was one of them. It felt good for once to be the giver of knowledge rather than the recipient. All these other mutants are pretty much versions of uh, those initial trials. Um, Lucas is also someone who I am fairly sure have left for the mainland. But yeah. And Cameron came back. Cameron came back, that's true. Um, Cameron... Cameron actually visited us here in Burleyville uh, when I messed up a little bit and he was very friendly and uh, helped me out a little bit. Might want to try and see if he can find him someday. Yeah, I would really like that. Me too, me I'm too. I'm curious on how things went. He, uh, there was this woman that he was interested in, I think. Mm -hmm. We would tease him about it, but uh, he would say, oh, no, no, he, she's with someone else, and we're just friends, we're just friends. Oh. But uh, we, would con we would tease him resent relentlessly. <laughs> okay. And I wanted to know where, if that hap if anything happened there, you know? Mm-hmm. I understand. I understand. More like a, a caring friend, you know? Don't worry. We'll... We'll find him. Not to worry. Well, Eve, uh, I want to thank you for the, our little trip together. And hope we can do it again sometime. Sometime soon. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I hope so, too. This had been a good shakedown cruise with Eve. I got to know her a bit better, I got a feel for how she worked out in the field, and, as far as I could tell at least, it had been an experience which had brought us even closer. And good thing too, because the next official trip we would take would have us visit the Ark, the main fortress of Lamplight. A place you'd do best to visit only if you knew you were bringing along with you. <laughs>